There's no doubt that there is a cry on Capitol Hill. We need an infrastructure upgrade. It's thousands of miles of new transmission to carry our solar and wind power across the continent. Now what the infrastructure bill is gonna look like coming out of the political ramp, we do not know, but we do know one thing, we've been assured from all levels, there's gonna be a massive infrastructure upgrade. While the political side of the conversation is happening now, the NECA IBEW team in the Midwest has been preparing for years to be ready when needed. The result? A $15 million facility centrally located right here in Indianola, Iowa. Here's we started a discussion about three and a half years ago about building one state-of-the-art training center in the middle of our seven state jurisdiction. So this training facility is really gonna help us move not only our industry forward, move our country forward, because there's gonna be a tremendous amount of work for men and women to do across this country. And it has to be right, because you know what? America runs on power. Twice a year, apprentices travel here for a full week of classes and housing. You can graduate as a journeyman lineman, a traffic signal technician, or a substation technician. It's, it's a huge opportunity, and there's very few places where you can come into a facility like this that has state-of-the-art equipment. The new building has an indoor pole training facility, an outdoor pole yard, high and low voltage labs, classrooms, locker rooms, and a computer simulation room. The indoor pole yard is five stories high, tall enough for a standard 45-foot high pole to be set inside out of the elements for year-round instruction and practice or if it's raining for three days outside, you know, they have to learn those learning objectives. We can go inside and, and, and keep the learning moving forward. When I walked into the indoor pole training facility, I just, uh, just mind boggling that uh, we're able to do this inside with real size poles that are used every day. It's just, uh, I get goosebumps. And when the weather is good, so we have a lot of um, different power lines and different framings built outside where the apprentices can learn how to um, hang a hook ladder and work off a hook ladder on the conductor and do insulator change outs to dead ending, moving wire, and so on. We have a complete underground circuit, three phase, uh, where they can learn switching coordination, how to terminate uh, underground cables, uh, and so on. So they're nice and clean, they're coming down, they're off the can, they're all in order. Um, it allows us to take everything that they've learned in the book and apply it directly to what they're gonna do in the field. My goal is kind of to see that aha moment or that light bulb moment. However method they're gonna receive it, I want them to make it their own and be able to not only use it, but also to teach it to the others that might be working underneath them in the future. My favorite part about the new facility is the low voltage lab, because when they learn about the theory, we can take them in there, reinforce it with the practical hands-on, show them why they're learning what they're learning, and eventually, if you keep working that process out, you'll at least get to a spot where you can make a decision on what the next course of action should be. So. We had to have the same vision, the same ideas of where we wanted to go, how we were going to fund it. Our board was able to work together really well on this project. And I think one of the most important things is, is once we put the project in place, uh, we step back and let our industry professionals build the facility. Well, I think it's important to remember that, that it's our responsibility, those of us that are here now, to plan for the future of the industry, of the brotherhood, of our members. This is a $15 million facility. That's a lot of money, but these men and women here are committed to work together because you know what? They're going to leave this industry better than they found it, and that's the goal. For Electric TV in Indianola, Iowa, I'm Erica McClarity.